Okay, so Andrew Tate's in the news. He got arrested, but then there's a confusion on whether or not there's a house arrest going on or something else. So let's watch Phil fill us in and then we'll watch Andrew Tate speak for himself. We gotta talk about this huge and wild update to that Andrew Tate situation, right? Because yesterday we covered that his house had been raided again by Romanian authorities as part of a new investigation into new allegations. With those including allegations of trafficking minors and sexual intercourse with a minor. But then last night, things got even worse for Andrew Tate, right? Because both he and his brother Tristan, along with four Romanian citizens, were taken into custody. And according to the BBC, Romania's Agency Against Organized Crime says that the accused were grooming vulnerable people and forced them to make graphic content for an online broadcast. And we're not talking about just a few. This new investigation involves at least 35 alleged victims. With the agency's statement going on to say that a foreign man is accused of forcing a 17-year-old girl to make sexual content online, as well as having sexual relations with a 15-year-old girl. Now, the statement doesn't name the man, but considering that the BBC reports that the Tates were detained with four Romanian citizens, it appears that calling him a foreign man kind of gives it away as one of the Tate brothers. And in total, the authorities are accusing those six of making almost $3 million through exploitation, with the prosecutors also accusing the Tate brothers of buying luxury cars and putting them in other people's names to hide their income from these alleged illicit activities. And Reuters reporting that the Tates' representative has said that the prosecutors are requesting that Andrew be detained for 30 days. And of course, all of this is happening while they're still awaiting trial on other charges of human trafficking and, in Andrew's case, accusations, which of course the brothers have been denying this whole time, even calling it a conspiracy to silence them. Also, of course, with this, you have Andrew Tate vehemently denying everything about this new investigation, telling reporters on the way to the police van, what I've done wrong, who knows? Anything to put me in jail except to give me a trial. No trial, no judge, this country is crazy. And adding, this file is even more stupid than the first one. Wait till you see. They say I have lover boyed the mother of my children and we've tricked them into having kids. Unbelievable. Wait till you see. Remember the first file and the media wasn't asking where's the evidence. This is your chance. So of course, this situation situation is still developing. So for now, we're going to have to keep our eyes on. But in the meantime, of course, I'd love to know your thoughts. And this is interesting for a lot of reasons because I mean, things like this can be confusing the way they happen. It feels like it should just be pretty simple, right? He's guilty. Where's the evidence? Put him in jail. But I just don't think real life works that way. I think real life is a little bit more complicated. There is a system. There is a procedure. There is a way of doing things. But more than that, I also think Andrew Tate's probably more related to what I said the other day, which is like more or less like mafia related activity, which means like they're probably not going to get him on actual charges. They're going to get him on something a little bit more digestible, like tax evasion, right? They maybe won't get him for trafficking, but they'll get him for something else. And that's just like what you that from my understanding, my limited understanding, that's not that uncommon to get criminals for other things because they can't really pin him on the worst stuff they've done. And by Andrew's own admission, like he has broken the law plenty of times in really ruthless ways and ways that I think are dangerous for society. So obviously I'm not, I'm not um, going to be surprised if he ever gets thrown behind bars for the things that he's at least admitted to doing, right? Now this is him himself speaking after, basically. So here is this video. You are okay? Free man. Built differently. Yes? Built differently. Of course. Better than okay. The audio is obviously very quiet. It's a guy's camera, but it will get louder in a second. You oh, are free? Free, yeah. free. Listen, I'm going to say free. something to everybody. Listen to me. I moved to Romania 10 years ago, and I found an amazing country full of beautiful people. And I told the whole world about Romania. If you mention the name Romania anywhere in the world, they'll say, Andrew Tate lives there, Andrew Tate lives there. Oh, I've done cute? nothing but promote this country. I've done nothing but say fantastic things about Romania endlessly. Hey, 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 and when hey, I did hey, this, hey, people hey. would say to me, if What is up with Tristan's eyes? He looks shooketh. Romania is so nice, if it's so safe, it's so beautiful. Why has it got such a bad reputation? And I said, well, there's probably a few bad actors, a few bad people who destroy the entire That's reputation. Kind of like the few fools at DCOP who just came along and told us, that the mothers of our children are somehow human traffic. I've been nice, I've been patient, I've played the game, I've respected the judiciary, I've gone to every appointment on time, but they bust in my house again. And now I've come along saying there's 35 victims. You know all 30 of those girls, 30 of them, have statements in our defense, 30 saying we've done absolutely nothing wrong, two, up to, two more of the mothers of our children, and two more have never even been to Romania, they've never even been here. They just found random girls we knew in other countries and made them sign pieces of paper. This is a setup, it's absolutely disgusting. Fair play to that judge who saw through the bullshit and let us free. Okay. And also, one more thing, the media is complicit, all of you are. When they first threw us in 
in jail. When they first put us in there, you're all running around saying human trafficker. None of you said, where's the evidence? Where's the proof? Where's the pictures? Where's the videos? None. Three years later, they do the same fucking bullshit. And you're all sitting there going, human trafficking. I'm not a human trafficker, clearly. If you human traffic someone, there is evidence. This is a setup. It's a stitch up. The three prosecutors at decal in my house, I said, why are you here? There's no case. They said, there's a case if we make one. This is a f***ing setup. All of it is. And, and listen, quiet, quiet. quiet. I'm not talking to you, sir. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. This, this is a setup. It is done on purpose, and it is designed to come up with the most heinous possible crimes to slander our name. And every single Romanian citizen should be disgusted that they are spending millions of euros wasting their time trying to put innocent men in jail instead of fixing the roads, fixing the hospitals, fixing this country. You have a beautiful country full of beautiful people, and three idiots at DCOP have f***ed everything. As for money laundering, sure, I'll approach that. Money laundering, no problem. Supposedly, we're money launderers because we buy luxury goods and we try and hide that we buy luxury goods for other people and hide our money. If you buy your girlfriend a handbag in Romania, they charge you with money laundering. This is disgusting. Disgusting. We have children. This is disgusting. Thank you. Not only does he have children, but he has sex with them. So that's kind of the conundrum is he's openly admitted to having sex with teenagers time and time again because, quote, it was legal. So Andrew Tate does know a lot about children, having them, them, doing other things. Who knows? I mean, I think ultimately that's the issue we're going to have here is that, you know, he's playing the defense card like we have children. We know. We know. That's we're kind of concerned for those kids that their dads, a, they're we're. I know, <laughs> like we're kind of concerned for those kids, you know? And so it is sort of ironic, I think, in that way. And look, I believe in reform. I believe in therapy. I believe in all these things, right? So if Andrew Tate wants to say that he's reformed from having sex with teenagers, um, you know, 15, 16, whatever year olds, as a man well in, like into his 20s, like, you know, we can have a conversation about that. But him trying to use the card of like, I have children. It's like, yes, we know kind of the problem. You know, I don't know if he's literally a trafficker. I would say that he's definitely done something criminal and he's definitely done something incredibly immoral and unethical. And he has stated it himself and bragged about it himself. And that's the problem. And that's it. That's it, period is he has no remorse for the way that he made his money, no remorse for the way that he used those women, no remorse for the, you know, the course that he built, no remorse for the way that he's taking advantage of men, no, no, like, just nothing, just no, no anything. I haven't seen a change in him. And so that's the dilemma, is like he can never admit anything he did was wrong, even though he's admitted to doing so much wrong. At the end of the day, I'm not sure what's going to happen to Andrew Tate, but it doesn't matter. He's already admitted. He's already bragged. He's already literally bragged about doing the things that I think any healthy society would agree is not good. He didn't even have the whole like, it's just like culture and like, I had to do it because like, no, it was fully, he tells his audience to shut the F up. He's going to do what he wants and it's legal. Here, where's my video on it? For example, Andrew Tate responding to the situation by saying, so now oh, Andrew Tate, the is deviant, trying to act like he's better, please. I was pretending to be surprised at this fucking tried to f a kid. Well, of course. It's all fing dude. They're fing deviants. They're weirdos. There's no reason to chop your own fing off unless you're a weirdo. News flash, you're weird. I don't know why we're using Andrew Tate or care about his commentary when he's obviously like a bad person and obviously doesn't care about consent, right? It's one thing I'll call April Baker. So listen, I'm me doing my thing, right? Bad boy. I'm about 21 and I was young thing on Facebook, you know. Little sexy, little badass. 16, brother. <laughs> April Baker. That was her name. That was her name. You're hot. So I messaged her. She's like, I'm only 16. I was like, give a f So I pick up April Baker in my Mazda RX-8. Bro, I was banging her, like, looking at her Facebook on the phone, like, just staring at a different face. Because I had to bang her, but, like, I was so disappointed. So from there on out, girls became Aprils. Oh, everyone, get the f over it. 16 is the legal age of consent in the UK. Yeah, shut it's up. Legal. He, shut was, up. he was 21. 16 she was 16. Is the age of consent. Get the fuck over it. How do I react? Ooh, look how cute I look in this. Hello, me. So yeah, for Andrew Tate to be like, I have children. We know. Ah, men. Andrew Tate. Specifically these men. Obviously not all men. Not all males. Just people who brag about being, uh, what does he say? The most dangerous man on the planet is a, a weak man and he's the most dangerous man. Yeah, yeah. Good times, you know? Yeah, Chad says bragging about being with an underage girl. That's the problem. He's out here 
bragging about it. Again, we don't need, I don't need a court to convict him. He convicted himself when he bragged about doing his crimes. And it's not about being a, being criminal legally. It's about being immoral. I don't want anybody in my life who brags about having the 16-year-old when they are well over the age, you know, where it's inappropriate. At 21, why is a 21 brag? Why is a 21-year-old? Well, not, no, actually, this is a 30-something-year-old bragging that when he was 21, he was sleeping with a 16-year-old. So just a reminder that he... It's not like a 21-year-old guy is bragging about it. A man in his 30s, near 40s. How old is Andrew Tate, bros? He's 37. Oh, he's like two years older than me. What the F? Okay, so this man, 37, is bragging. 36 is maybe bragging. Whenever this podcast came out. About when he was 21 having sex with a 16-year-old. It's like, bro, you have zero remorse for what you did. You're not even sad about it. You're not even saying, hey, I should have done this. It definitely wasn't appropriate. I regret it. And even though it was the cold trip, then none of that. Just full on bragging, already bragging. So um, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm sure we're going to get another update in the next like 72 hours because we keep getting more and more. And I hope one of the updates is that people wake up to sort of his nonsense. I think Abraham Preach said it best. I didn't review their video on stream. The law says you're guilty. I said, get me out of jail. Don't go see a lawyer to talk about the law. I have committed multiple felonies. How much Fix does it problem. cost to make this all go away? Like I said, I don't feel bad for these guys. What are we talking about? These guys are scumbags, okay? By their own, not based off what I think, what they say. They scumbags. And anyone to sit here, any grown man who wants to sit here and advocate for dudes who love taking the virginities of 14, 15 year olds while they're in their mid thirties, any dude who wants to advocate that, I hope I lose you as a fan too. Y'all some weirdos, okay? And all these dudes clamoring for this stuff, just say you don't give a shit about women. They say, that's fine, just say that, okay? Say that, just, just move on. So we just know you hate ladies, just say that. But I'm not interested in having a conversation with people who want to just do this whole running defense for sex traffickers, for dudes who obsess over having underage women. These guys are sex offenders and that's what they are. So that's what I think about this. At this point, if everything you know about Andrew Tate, like you know everything, I'm even giving you an ex like an ability to say, I didn't know this about him. But if you've been following and you know all of the things he's admitted to and you're still defending him, that's crazy. That's crazy, bro. And no offense, we obviously just live in different bubbles. And this is why bubbles is so important and knowing where you exist because there are plenty of people that are defending him. There are plenty of people that agree with him. There are plenty of people that think this is how the world should be. And they are living with a different perception of reality. And lots of them will be women. Lots of them will be men. Lots of them will just be very different from people like me. Because this is not okay. Like I said the other day, I'm getting on my ship and I'm sailing away and I'm taking zero men who brag about having sex with teenagers. If you brag about having sex with teenagers, you can't get on my boat. You can't get on the boat. So good luck. Gross, gross, gross. I wonder if he'd marry off one of his daughters at 16 to one of his friends or if he's one of those kinds of men. Is he the kind of man that like marries off his daughters to grown ups? Because that's a whole bubble that exists. That exists around the world. Plenty of dads sell their daughters off to grown men. That's a, that's a whole reality for some people. And those are people's fathers. <laughs> Him and Drake should hang out. Chad says Tate needs to uh, double his dosage and leave teenage girls alone. Drake too certified. Bro, him and Drake should just be friends at this point. Gross, dude. Gross. All right. Let's move on. I don't want to waste too much of my limited time on earth talking about Andrew, Andrew Useless Tate, okay? In my head, in my life, my belly's being fed and I'm okay I'm just fine Yet all I do is whine Not to you in my mind Cause I know I don't make sense I've been nothing but blessed So why's my life a mess? Please tell me cause I'm Sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth Life is a fool. Dun, 